Alright, um, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for the wisdom and understanding of the gospel is truth. Double honors to our apostles and the elders of GMS, Great Millstone, who have taught us this truth of the gospel of the kingdom. Alright, now, um, uh, that clip that you've seen, um, right here, I'll leave a link in the description box to that, but that's from the, the TV show, uh, known by the name of The Walking Dead. All right, now, um, I don't know if you could hear that, that I, I had the volume all the way up, which I'll turn it down because I got a few more things I can show later. But, um, you know, yeah, uh, Salaki about the volume. But basically, you know, he was saying that adolescence is a 20th century invention. Man. Now, I've been promising this lesson um, for a week now, so I want to say Salakia. This is a longer lesson, so, um, you know... I haven't had the time to get around to it, but I wanted to get to it today. So uh, this might be a, an hour long lesson, maybe even longer, because we got a ton of stuff in the scriptures. And I even want to get into um, a book as well. Uh, I want to read a chapter of that um, later today in this video as well. So, um, yeah, but that'll be really at the end of the video that we get into that. But hey, it's a good book. I recommend you look it up. It's called uh, Teen 2.0. But like I said, I'll show you that at the end of this video. So, um, yeah, I recommend, you know, you take notes and whatnot, man, if you're not, um, you know, which really you should be taking notes at really all of our videos, you know, starting, of course, with the apostles on down like I myself do, because, you know, you can't remember all the verses off the top of your head. OK. Um, so, yeah, you know, I wanted to start it off with that clip, right, because Esau shows you, man. As that, that one saying goes, um, you know, in order to make a lie, you have to know the truth, all right? Because Esau knows the truth, all right, about every topic, man. He knows the truth. He knows that the Lord coming back in UFOs. He knows that, man. He knows who people call aliens are actually the Lord and his angels, man, all right? For one uh, of my favorite examples, you know, I take the movie, um, uh, what is it called? Independence Day, right? That's... that's um, Second Ezra is the fifteen chapter, man, to a T. All right, like literally, go read it. Um, let's see. But anyway, let's get on with the lesson. All right. Now, I will say this uh, before I start the video. Um, this is just for edification sake, um, and basically, the truth of the scriptures, man. All right, and some of the information I give you, you you're not going to find it really in many other places, man. All right, because as the scriptures say, matter of fact. Let's see if I can find that. Give me just a second because this isn't um, the real life version. So I gotta look for it. It's locked, yeah. I want to find that scripture because it's a good scripture before I get started. Might take me a minute to find it though because I'm using the uh, book. Lock you. Bear with me. Just a moment. All right, Slocky, I found it. I found it. This is on Matthew 10 and 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. All right, so there you go right there, man. All right. Well, Yahweh Bashim Yashai told us we're supposed to uh, teach to the world, man. Really, to the Israelites, all right? But even we got to teach the heathen what is going to, you know, happen to them when Yahweh Bashim Yashai comes back, man. All right? Uh, move my paper real quick. Move that over here. My notes and stuff on it. Um, there we go. So, let's start the scriptures. Let's start this lesson off, all right? Now, I want to get Ecclesiasticus, which I believe that's in the Apocrypha, right? Let's get that. 
and like I said, it might take me a little bit longer to find the verses because I'm using the uh, real life versions. Um, just a lock here. Let's see. So I want to get this uh, scripture before we get into this lesson, man. Okay, this is a good scripture. Okay, and you gotta take this into mind. Okay, because guys, what they do is, for example, I'll give it, I'll give a few examples like Rock upon him. Uh, one of my old arch enemies, which that guy's still on there, by the way. Um, what's that guy's name? Uh, Andrew Ashby, right? Which I debated him on this topic a few times before, and he falls flat on his face. Um, this is Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 11, and start at, uh, 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth, understand first, then rebuke. Enter not before thou hast heard the calls, neither and interrupt men in the midst of their talk. All right? Strive not in the matter that concerneth thee not, and sit not in judgment with sinners, okay? So there you go right there, man. You're not supposed to judge um, a matter before you hear it, man. All right? If you do, that's folly unto you, all right? So, you know, for example, we got the, the devil's um, uh, L-U-I-C and stuff. They like to, you know, call GMS, you know, pedophiles or whatnot for bringing out uh, certain things in the scriptures. But, hey... They're, they're judging before they examine what the scriptures say, all right? So they're going to get a terrible judgment for that, man, okay? That will be a terrible judgment from Yahweh Bash and Yahshua, all right, who the world really calls uh, Christ, okay? Um, let's see. Start off, let's go to um, Romans, which I'll actually just use the online version. Go to Romans real quick. There it is. <laughs> um, Romans twelve. We got twelve and uh, two. All right, I just wanted to get a few scriptures before we really get into it. Man. Uh, this is uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. All right? So, you know, we can't be emotional in this thing, man. All right? You got to prove what is good and acceptable according to Yahweh Bashem Yashai, man. All right? Anybody who's emotional, hey, the Lord's not dealing with you. He's not dealing with emotions and feelings, man. All right, which I believe there's a few more scriptures I want to get before we actually, you know, get into the main meat of the lesson, so to speak, okay? Because we got a lot of stuff to cover. Um, but, you know, just to set the mood, I want to get a few scriptures, man. All right? And like I said, it's lucky if this is a longer lesson, but it's all for edification's sake, for the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. All right? says 1 Corinthians 14 and 40 let all things be done decently and in order okay and, and you know <laughs> like I said man the foundations of the world are set out of order and why is that because the earth is inhabited uh, you know is destroyed under the inhabitants thereof man it's lucky they are paraphrasing the scripture all right but the point is that the people in rulership are the people who destroyed the world, all right? And they're going into the chains for what they've done. A thousand years of slavery. Bless save the Bible, all right? Uh, and one last scripture I want to start off with um, before we get into the main meat of this lesson, okay? Because you can't be offended at the word of the Lord, okay? And I'll say that again. You cannot be offended at what the scriptures say, all right? That's why it says, you know... Um, I'm trying to think of the scripture. Ah, uh, what's what's it say? Um, I believe it says, "He that's offended in me is not worthy of me," or something like that. I'm just paraphrasing the scripture. Um, but hey, that's scripture is a good one too. I wish I had that one down. Um, it says Matthew 11 and um, six, and blessed is he whosoever should not be offended in me. Okay. So if you're offended at the word of the Lord, then, hey, then the Lord's not dealing with you. They're, okay, there's there's only one truth, okay? There's not any variations, variations of the truth, okay? There's only one, all right? 
can't just make up things in your goddamn head. You can't do that, man. All right, the Lord's going to kill you for that. All right. Uh, let's see. How will we go over the um, age of consent? All right, let's go over that, okay? Because contrary to popular belief, you can't put an age on something that's natural. It should be common damn sense, man. All right. So how about we see what the Bible has to say? All right. Which just would lead us into our next uh, clip. For I believe it's from. Uh, there's one from Game of Thrones. All right. Uh, hey, shout out to anyone who's seen that. Um, and also, uh, um, Vikings. All right. Which those TV shows are you know basically ancient uh, shows, man. All right. They show you what it was in the ancient world, man. And they show you a lot of deep things, man. All right. For example, I believe it was uh, Game of Thrones to show you that women are basically spoils of war, man. All right. And they show you that basically men were over women. All right. And that, that's, that's what the scriptures say. So they show you that in there, man. All right. Um, start off with this. This is 1 Corinthians 7. 36, but if any man think that he behave of himself uncommonly towards his virgin as she passed the flower of her age and needs to require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not, let them marry. That's talking about a woman's first menstrual cycle, man. All right? Because these people try to make it look like, oh, 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 well, a girl ain't a woman until she's 18. Okay, then what, Then how could she have little babies before she's 18? Can you please explain that? It, it, like I said, man, people have no common sense and understand nothing. All right? But, you know, I just got done doing a video about how a woman's wisdom is foolishness, all right? Because you women have no understanding of nothing, all right? And they feminize the men, too, okay? So men are just as stupid in the society, man. We got dumbasses, all right, 25, 30 years old, running around dressing up like women, all right? That's a pure abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And that should vex you to even see such nonsense, all right? And I always like to bring this up, man, okay? Because this shows the pure hypocrisy of people, all right? And this also, you know, shows that Esau's the devil, all right? Because let me give this uh, example, right? So Esau will tell you that it's right for a man to marry a man and a woman to marry a woman, right? Or better yet, uh, a, a man to marry a computer, right? A man to marry a car. But it's, it's, it's not good and it's not acceptable for a man to marry a young woman. Like somehow that, that's somehow wrong, but it's okay for a man to marry a, a, a computer or another man. That, that is just pure wickedness, all right? And that's one more reason why America must be destroyed, okay? And if you get offended at that, well, I don't care if you get offended at it. This is what we do, all right? We're called to teach the word of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And even some things, you know, may, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Upset your stomach, so to speak. <laughs> um, but, you know, you got to man up and deal with it, man. And if you can't, then you can't be a prophet of the Lord, man. All right? You can't be a man of Yahweh Bashim Yashai if you're offended at what it says. All right? And that's another thing, because we don't care who we offend. All right? We don't care about, you know, if you offend some of your friends, your, some of your family. Hey, screw them, man. The Lord said, um, you know, if any man love his father or mother more than me, he is not worthy of me. All right. And actually says um, father, mother, brother, sister or children. All right. Or wife more than me is not worthy of me. All right. And you even have to hate your own life as well, man. All right. You got these certain guys saying, oh, life is so good and whatnot, man. Where the Lord said that you have to hate your life to follow him. So that proves that you guys are false teachers. All right. And um, just to prove that that flower is talking about a woman's period, okay? Because, you know, some guys try to be slick like loving Christian, all right? which he, I, I see his point, all right? Because he, um, you know, actually, um, you know, which I actually agree with what he was saying. He was saying that, um, you know, basically can't sleep with a, a woman when she's on her menstrual cycle. And yes, you are right. But he was, I thought he was trying to say you can't sleep with a woman once she passes her, her first menstrual cycle, which according to scriptures you can. All right. So that's what um, that, that argument between me and him was, if you've seen that a week ago. All right. And also the whole rape topic in the scriptures as well, which that's clearly in there. All right. Like I said, this is not for emotional people. Um, and what, like I said, we're not telling you to go do anything. We're just simply mentioning the facts. That's all we're doing. All right. 
it's a difference between men it's a difference between me mentioning something all right and telling somebody to do it we're not telling you to do nothing just like according to that scripture a man a 40 year old man could sleep with a, a 12 year old girl as long as she had her menstrual cycle because she's a woman all right because now she can now have babies right so common sense and science itself will tell you that she would have to be a woman all right not a little girl i mean how stupid can you be but this is what this society pushes all right which you know we'll get into that a little bit later on in this lesson then because you know the whole um uh what's it called adolescence or whatnot teenage years that that's that's a 20th century invention they told you that in that video i showed you at the start of this lesson man all right that's not real all right, that's first of all go ahead and find me the word in the bible it's not in there why is it not in there because it didn't exist all right it's a 20th century invention why was it made to make the state even richer all right which you know there's many more reasons why but you know it has to do with the drug companies as well all right because they make billions off of the um basically the misery of what they put people through man all right and that's also why it says in Revelation, the 18th chapter. Sorry, I, I'm all over the place because, you know, some scriptures come to mind. I want to bring those out for edification. Let me see if I can find that scripture. Um, uh, so, Lucky, you bear with me. I'm looking... Uh, Yeah, here it is. Um, this is um, Revelation chapter 18 and 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. Now listen to this. This is talking about you drug companies, all right, and all you people out there, you know, that sell these drugs, these medicines, so-called medicines, because they're not really, they're just there to make problems worse. This is what the Lord has to say for you, all right? Because you're part of the reason why America will be destroyed, all right? It says, for by their sorceries, I'll say it again, sorceries, all right? Medicines are sorceries, are they not? So there you go. We're all nations deceived, okay? And that's also going into your uh, your philosophies and way of thinking, man. Because as Hillary Clinton herself, she said out of her own mouth that when something gets pushed here in America, it gets pushed out throughout all the world because that America is that great city, all right, that reigns over the kings of the, of the earth, man, all right? And that's why America will be destroyed. And it, I don't care if you get offended at that. We don't care about you, all right? This isn't about you, man. A lot of us have been doing this for years, all right? We don't care about how you feel. All right. That's why it says with all I get and get understanding. OK, because it really, you know, I shouldn't correct the fool in this folly, man. All right. But sometimes you got to do videos correcting people man, for edification's sake. All right. But if you keep making videos trying to explain something to somebody and they still can't get it, hey, it's just not meant for that person to get. All right. Um, and, you know, like I said, uh, what is that scripture I want to get? I believe it's Leviticus. Right. Just to prove it, that flower. And 1 Corinthians 7.36 is talking about a woman's period. All right, let's get um, Leviticus 15 and uh, 24. It says, if, and, uh, and if a man lie with her at all, and her flowers be upon him, he shall be unclean seven days, and all the bed wherein he lies shall be unclean. All right? Now that's talking about when a woman's bleeding, it doesn't matter how old the woman is. It doesn't matter if she's 20-something uh, uh, years old or uh, 15 years old. That doesn't matter. If the woman is on her menstrual cycle, you should not sleep with her seven days. All right, but the scripture in um, 1 Corinthians was saying that you are now, it would be now lawful for you to sleep with a woman once she became a woman at her menstrual cycle. And just to prove this, let me go ahead and throw a clip in here from uh the movie um i believe it's from game of thrones so i'll be right back
All right, right. So clear to the point, man. Now, actually, Salaki, that was a clip from uh, the movie Vikings. All right. Now, I want to throw one up in here from uh, the movie Game of Thrones as well. So I'll be right back with that, too. to the point all right she told her that once she had her period she became a woman all right and then i don't know if you call it that but she said now she can have the king's children now this reminded me of um actually i'm gonna pull it up on here uh first king starting at one and one all right uh let me get that real quick like i said man it's it's clear to the point man which actually if you want to watch those videos lord willing i can put a link to them in the uh description box so I will try to uh, get to that, if possible. Um, let's see, what was I looking for? First Kings. Uh, should be around here somewhere. There it is. Start at one and one. All right. Now listen closely. He says, now King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Wherefore his servant said unto him, Let there be salt for my lord, the king, a young virgin. All right, now, that's going into a young woman. All right, because, for example, Christianity teaches that Mary actually was a virgin when she gave birth. Now, this is not true. She, Mary was a young woman. But um, Mary and uh, Joseph had sex. Um, basically, just like, you know, how all of us got here, man. All right, there was no so-called virgin birth, man. The scriptures tell you the Lord spring out of the tribe of judah man so if the lord spring out of judah then obviously he would have had to come from david man or salaki would have had to come from um joseph salaki um but the point is that you know don't well that actually that's another um topic in itself so i'm not even going to attempt to get into that in this lesson because we'll be sitting here a number of hours uh, but the point is that you know those clips i showed you that's clear to the point man like i said they're from two different uh tv shows one from uh, vikings the first one you've seen second one from uh game of thrones all right which are both actually popular movies on there i don't know if they're still on there because i haven't watched them for a while but i remember seeing them before um says a young virgin and let her stand before the king and let her cherish him and let her lie in thy bosom that my lord the king may get heat so they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coast of Israel and found Amishak and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair. All right, which the word damsel means a young woman. All right. And I'll prove that in a little bit. All right, so keep that word damsel in mind. Uh, I believe I left off at four. The damsel was very fair and cherished the king and ministered to him with the king knew or not. And why did he know her not? Because he didn't have sex with her. Why was that? Not because she was too young. No. Because um, because he was really on his deathbed now. Alright. Um, so that's why he didn't. Alright. Now, I said to focus on that word Danzi. Okay. Now I want to, from there, go to Mark. Five. 42. 
All right, remember, I kept, I told you to keep that word in mind. All right, this is uh, Mark 5:42, and straight away the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years, and they were astonished with great astonishment. But the point of this verse is, it says the word damsel. The word damsel means a young woman, a marriageable age. And notice, it says she was twelve years old. All right, so there you go, right there. All right, so L-U-I-C saying, oh, well, 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 it's 18. Well, you're completely cut right there by the Bible, man. All right, totally cut. All right, you just got to look into a few words. And like I said, we're only through halfway of this lesson, not even. All right, so I think I've proven my point to the maximum extent already. All right, but we got way more to cover, man. All right. And like I said, we're not telling you to go out there and do that. Of course not. I'm just simply mentioning, you know, what the facts are, man. All right, so stop being damn emotional, all right? And yet another thing, for you people who claim you believe in the Lord, well, why do you get upset and emotional whenever we bring out the hardcore facts of the scriptures? Such as, let's give a few examples. We can throw this topic in there. Um, how you women are not supposed to be speaking in the churches. Uh, how men are over women, right? How the Lord hates most people. Um, let's see. How the Lord's a black man. Um... Let's see, which I'm only giving a few examples. So, um, you know, really, oh, I know one. The Lord's coming back on UFOs. Now, that's a big stumbling block, man, because most people can't accept that, okay? It's a lot here. Um, <laughs> it'd be funny if I still had it paused and I was talking the whole time. Um, but, yeah, let's get ooh, one more verse I want to get on the... Um, Age of consent real quick Which really there's many more scriptures I could bring out But for the sake of the, the lesson I just want to get a few of them Okay uh, I believe it's in what Ezekiel The 16th chapter 2 to Alright, now, this is really the, the, a parable of the Lord comparing, basically, um, I believe, what was it, Jerusalem, right? If we scroll up. So, the Lord was comparing Jerusalem, basically, to a little girl growing up to a woman, alright? Now, now one of the translations even tells you, which I forget um, the translation, but one of them even tells you that um, she hit puberty, man. Alright, meaning she hit womanhood, and another one tells you that, man. So there you go right there. That's <laughs> that's proof in itself, man. All right, but this is the out of the King James, the original, you know, one we should be reading, okay? Um, it says we're going to start at 2 and read down to 8. It says, Son of man caused Jerusalem to know her abominations and say, Thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem. Remember, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, okay? Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Uh, actually, Salakia, that's the wrong verse. I want to start at um at four, Salakia. Um, we'll go to four. It says, And uh, for thy nativity, the day that thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was there, Salakia, neither was thou washed in water to su supply thee. Thou was not salted at all, neither swaddled at all. All right, five. Know what I pay thee to do any of these things unto thee. I have compassion upon thee, but thou hast cast out into the open field to the uh, living of thy person in the day that thou was born. All right. Now listen, listen to this. All right. Pay uh, close attention. All right. But the main point of this is the 8th verse, but start paying attention. It says, And when I passed by thee, and saw thy polluted, slack of thee, polluted in thy own blood, I said unto thee, When thou was in thy blood, live yea. I say unto thee, When thou was in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxen great. And thou art come to excellent ornaments. Now listen to this. Thy breasts are fashioned and thy hair is grown. 
whereas thou was naked and bare, now when I passed by thee, and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was a time of love, I spread out my skirt over thee, and covered thy nakedness, yea, I swore into, unto Slakia, unto thee, and entered into a, a covenant with thee, saith the Lord God, and thou becamest mine. All right, so there you go right there. That, that's clearly indicating that what I just um, showed you in those, um, those clips, man. All right, once a woman has her menstrual cycle, she's a woman. All right, now once again, you're not going to go out there and do that here. All right, but all things are lawful to the Lord. So if a man did do that, which sometimes it does happen, hey, the Lord gave that man permission to do that. Uh, I believe it's uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 12. All things are lawful unto me, but not all things are expedient. So is that lawful? Yes, it is. It's not expedient, but it is lawful. So if it happens, hey, the Lord said he could do that. But if it, um, it's not expedient, all right? So meaning that you really, you know, may not be want to be doing that right now. But yeah, it is lawful. So, you know, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, now this is going to take us into the second part. Of this lesson, all right, because in this society they uh, teach girls basically to just go to school and get your so called decrees, de de all right, or slaki. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Degrees, that's what that's what I was looking for. Um, to go get your degrees, to go learn how to, you know, basically go work a job to be equal with a man. That's not what the Bible says. You're supposed to be teaching women when they're young. To be um, basically, you know, um, learn how to be women so that when they become, you know, a woman after a period, then they'll, they'll know how to be a woman. All right. And the same thing for a boy. They're, they're, his dad's supposed to teach him how to be a man so that when you become a man at 12 years old, all right, then you know how to be a man. All right. And this society doesn't do that. Why? Because this is the, the land of confusion and the shadow of death. All right. And Babylon the Great. And it has very many names. I can't even mention mention them all here. All right, and this is one reason why the Lord has everlasting, um, you know, hatred towards Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right, or the scriptures call this place Idumia. Okay, because you know that's another thing. Because oh, oh, well, it doesn't say the word America in the Bible. Oh, oh, it's not in there. How? I mean, how stupid can you be? It's not going to say America. All right, you can clearly see America's in there if you read the, the 18th chapter and many other uh, whole chapters in the Bible. All right, but it's not going to be uh, a plain uh, in your face. Oh, oh, the, oh America is, is Babylon. I mean, how stupid can you be? All right. Or, or as loving Christian would say, oh, I mean, how stupid can you be? <laughs> you know, totally funny, man. But, you know, getting back to my point, I was saying that on. You know, they basically teach, you know, women to have children when they're like 20-something, 30 years old, all right? 25, around 30 years old, even 40. That is pure madness, man. Women are supposed to be having children very young. And that's a that's a beautiful thing, according to the Lord. And I'm going to get you the scriptures on that, all right? And once again, remember the scripture we read earlier. I believe it was what, Matthew 11 and 6. Blessed is he whosoever should not be offended in me. So if you're offended at the word of Yahweh and Yahshai, then hey, you're not worthy of him. It's that simple. All right. Um, so let's go there. Uh, actually, which you know, there's many more scriptures that come into mind, but just for edification's sake, which I'm actually going to head over to the Apocrypha. All right. I want to find um, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 7. Salaki, let me find it real quick. Let's get this real quick. This is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter um, 7 and 24, which is a few scriptures I want to get in the Apocrypha. But I, let's get this one too. It says, Has thou daughters have a care of their bodies and show not thyself careful, Shlorslachia, cheerful towards them? Marry thy daughter, and so shall thou have performed a weightly matter. But give her to a man of understanding. Alright. 
because that's another topic in itself, man, because a man has um, authority over his, his wife and his daughter, man, uh, until he marries her off to another man, okay, because a woman has no independence, okay, there's no such thing as a single woman, all right, according to the Bible, all right. And also, a man can have multiple women, according to the Bible, too. All right, go. Ahead. You know, it's funny if you try to do that here in America, you know, then then you're looked at as a bad person. But yet, it is, we got homosexuals and trans transgenders running around here, and you're not going to tell me that's pure wickedness, man. That's one reason why the Lord must nuke America off the face of the earth, man. And if you can, if you love America, then the Lord ain't dealing with you. All right. So if you want to get offended, hey, go ahead and get offended. But you're the wicked. Just accept that. All right. Um, let's see. I was looking for another scripture. I believe it was in um Second Ezra's. Yeah, Second Ezra's. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Which, like I said, man, I got many more scriptures to prove my point. But for the sake of this lesson, you know, we just got to bring out a few for edification all right so what is this talking about all right this is um second ezra's okay in the apocrypha second ezra's chapter 5 and we're going to start at 51 he answered me and said ask a woman that bear of children and she shall tell thee say unto her wherefore are not they whom thou has now brought forth like those that were before but less of stature and she shall answer ye they that be born in the strength of the youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age when the womb faileth are otherwise. Now, it's a fact if you study science and you know that um, around uh, the time a woman's like 30 years old, 95% of her eggs are, are gone. All right? And that's when most women are out here having children, man. Around 30 years old, 25 years old. That's madness, man. And that's what the society pushes, all right? Which women who have children and their so-called uh, teenage years, they're better off, man, all right? Now, you know, of course, you know, it's so like I said, since you're not taught how to be a woman, then, you know, that's going to cause some problems, most likely, man. All right, but that's because the society in itself is backwards, man. All right, I said earlier, remember, the women are supposed to teach the young women how to be women. All right. Matter of fact, is there um, which actually I'll get that scripture after I um, read this. It's lucky. Bear with me just a moment. All right, I've got another scripture I want to get, but after. This, I'll get that. So, um, let's go back. All right. Consider thou, therefore, also, how that ye are less of stature than those that were before you, and so are they that come after you less than ye, as the creatures which now begin to behold have passed over the strength of the youth. Okay? So, it's a good thing for a woman to have children in her youth, man. All right? This is um, contrary to popular belief, okay? Because this, like I said, this society is totally backwards and against Yahawabash and Yahshai in every way possible, man. Matter of fact, this is the Antichrist, man. All right, there's no such thing as one Antichrist that's going to rule the world. Anyone who believes that, that's pure madness and the Lord's not dealing with you. All right, but the point is, uh, everybody who's anti Mashiach, uh, anti Yahawashai, is an Antichrist, man. All right, so all your friends, even your family members, and 99% of the people you know is an antichrist, okay? And you're going to have to accept that, all right? And if you don't, well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's see. What was that scripture I was going to get? Uh, 1 Corinthians. Let's go back there. 11 and 8, I believe it is. I, hold on, it might not be there. I know it's somewhere. Um, let's see. Maybe is it over? Might be in the 14th chapter, Slakia. Um, I don't know exactly the verse.
All right, so Lucky, I don't think I'm going to be able to find that one. But basically, it was going over how basically the, the women are supposed to teach the young women to basically uh, clean the house, you know, and basically uh, love their husband and their children, all right, and whatnot, man, all right. Now, that's not talking about no woman when she's 20-something years old, man, all right. Like I said, man, this society is totally backwards, man. If you're not vexed with what's going on here, then the Lord hates you, all right. All right, because the men of the Lord, um, you know, are vexed by what's going on. The the true men of the Lord. All right, you 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 know we got. It's funny because we got you so-called pastors, right? You're you're all accepting of 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 uh, transgenders and homosexuals and, and lesbians inside of your um your so-called Christian church, right? Oh well, we gotta love them and whatnot. No, the Lord hates them, man. All right, now. You know, you can't go out there and perform the judgment, all right? And we're not telling you to. You can't do that here, man, because you'll go to jail. But it is lawful. So if that does happen, you know, hey, that's the word of Yahweh Bashi Meoshai. And that's what should happen. But guess what? You really can't do that here because the devil, the so-called white man, is in charge of the world, all right? And hey, he's going into chains. He's going into slavery, all right? So he's going to pay for what he has done, all right? Just remember that. Um... Let's get into the main, some of the main beef of this lesson, all right? Um, this is, uh, how about we get one scripture real quick? I believe what is it? Ecclesiastes, before we get into the book Teen 2.0, okay? Because I actually have this book. It's a very good book. I, I paid $10 for it, all right, on Google Play. And um, actually, I got, I got this book like two years ago, um, I paid 10 bucks for it. I read the whole book in less than three hours, all 500 plus uh, pages of it, man. Very good book. I highly recommend you get it. I give it, I give it a nine stars out of 10. The reason why I don't give it 10 is because um, the guy who made it, Robert Epstein, he, he um, basically is following after the, 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 the religion of statism, man. All right, the belief in the, these devils, man. The belief in the, in, in the white man, all right? So I gave it, nine out of ten but if it wasn't for that reason it would be ten out of ten or eleven out of ten man very good book i recommend you look it up um and once you get the name of it's teen 2.0 and i'll show you it in a little bit um i just want to give one scripture before we get into that uh eleven and Said, therefore remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth for vanity. Right? Because when you're young, you know, you're still coming up and knowing what you're supposed to do. But the point is, I want to bring this out because you can clearly see there's a difference, man. Right? Because the word youth means young, all right? Because some people try to say, oh, when you're a youth, you're still a child. That, that is not true. The scripture clearly cuts that right here. I'll read again Ecclesiastes 11 and 10. Therefore remove sorrow from thy heart. And put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. All right, there you go, right there. All right, clear difference. All right. Um. Yeah. Now let's get into the book Team 2.0. So I'll be right back. All right. Um. I'm back. So um. I had to go look for that real quick. Um, but yeah, here's the cover of the book, Slocky, about the um, uh, how small it is on the screen, but I can't switch the recorder around uh, without messing up the recording. So I'm um, Slocky about that, but I recommend you buy this book. Uh, like I said, you can buy it online for like 10 bucks if you want a hard um, cover. Um, actually, I know somebody who actually had one of them. I had a subscriber who actually had this book. Um, I don't know if I still had that guy follow me because I think I lost him with that uh, first channel I had. Um, but, hey, you know, that guy, hey, that, he was a good guy, man. I talked to that guy for like six months. Hey, he was he was good, but I don't know if he fell away or something like that. Um, but, hey, man, Lord willing, that guy be doing the, the work still. But the point is that um, he had the book. He showed me it was a hardcover um, book, man. He paid like 20 bucks for that thing. Like, I mean, that thing was... Bigger than the my lever Bible I have in front of me, man. Like I said, I read every single page in less than um, three hours, man. All right, the very good book. All right, and I hate reading, man. All right, 
the only scriptures well actually let me rephrase myself the only thing i really read is the scriptures and articles all right and, and this book all right maybe a few other books but other than that i'm not much of a reader all right um so as you can see right here man all right because this ties in remember that verse i brought out in revelation the 18th chapter man going over the basically the sorceries all right meaning the uh the philosophies all right specifically america because um Hil hillary clinton herself said that uh once you know whatever's pushed here in america gets pushed out throughout all the world and that's the truth and why is that because america america is that uh, great city okay that reigns over the kings of the earth man all right um actually let me see if i can bring that out real quick before i get into it well get bear with me uh, let's see if I can get that. Yeah, this is uh, Revelation uh, chapter 18, 23. I'll read it again. It says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For that merchants were the great men of the earth, for all Slakia, for by their sorceries, all right, were all nations deceived, okay? Because every nation follows after America's uh, way of life, man, all right? They go into these other nations and raid them, all right, and make them forcibly uh, obey what America uh, goes by, man, all right? Because America is that oppressing city, all right? The golden city, all right? And the kings of the world, all right, because since you all joined under Babylon, you're all going into slavery, all right? Which matter of fact, let's get one more scripture on that, if, in case anybody's new and they're not used to hearing that. Let's get uh, one scripture, which, you know, I recommend you watching videos from the brothers in GMS about that, man, because they, hey, their brothers can break it down uh, great to you, man. I, I just want to get one verse one I actually found the other day. All right, this is um, Isaiah uh, chapter 49, and I want to read 23. All right, it says, uh, And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth, and lick up the dust off thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be sh ashamed that wait for me okay and who is that that waits for yahubash and yashai like starting with the apostles on down man because hey they've been pushing this truth on the streets uh almost every week for 30 plus years man apostle of heart i believe it's what 34 33 years that he's been out there man i right, say so, hey there you go all right faithfully waiting man all right um so we're going to be the ones who rule the world next, man. You kings are going into slavery, all right? And if we be of that hopeful elect, all right, because you don't know who it is, all right? You can't say you're a part of it because, you know, that's another thing because Christians try to say, oh, well, I'm saved. Well, okay, well, first of all, what the hell are you saved from? I don't see no um, uh, <laughs> cloud picking you up anywhere, all right? What are you saved from? The Lord ain't come back yet. You ain't saved, all right? You ain't saved till we get out of here, man, all right? Um, but yeah, with that being said, we'll get back to the book. All right. So as you can see, the name of it, uh, it's Team 2.0, man. All right. And it's made by, um, I believe his name is, uh, Dr. Robert Epstein, right? Look that guy up, man. He, he has a number of, uh, books, man. All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he actually believes that, uh, a man should be able to have more than one wife. Don't quote me on that, but I believe he said that, um, that was a good thing. But he's going off because he was saying that a woman should also be able to sleep with different men. All right, so he's going off on that too. Um, but you know, that's besides the point. Um, let's see. There's a chapter I want to get in here. All right, because really, you know, as I, as I always mention, when you see us teaching on the street or in the videos, I mention um, that, you know, really the world's problems are caused by the people who rule the world, man. And why is that? Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, all right? And, you know, <laughs> let's get into that uh, chapter, all right? It says, um, all right, so I want to get a first chapter, so let's go ahead and get that.
which I'm not going to read the whole thing. I just want to jump around and get certain parts. All right, let me just find a chapter real quick. Oh, I'll stop here real quick, all right? Um, let me put that up there. Um, because this book actually goes over what the Bible says about this too, okay? Which I'm not going to bring that out and, and whatnot, man, because, you know, I already brought out enough scriptures and evidence just to prove my point, all right? Um, but you can, like I said, read this book. And actually, if you look this up online, you can actually get like 80% of this you can read for free. All right, you can read 80% of this book for free if you go to the app store and go to the books. Just look up Teen 2.0, or it, it has another name, the, the Case Against Adolescence. All right, look up one of those, and you'll find the same book. All right, um, you can read half the book for free. I highly recommend you do so. Okay, um, which, as you can see, um, all of the, um, the things here, all right, Lockheed, so check that real quick so I highly recommend you do that but anyway let's go to the uh, main point so how long is this one on for almost an hour hey Brock upon you how about some young shy like I said man there's so many pages in this all right, there we go, the first chapter. It's really, um, let me see, where do I want to start at? Uh, let me see. How about we read the overview right here? All right, it says, um, American teens have long been in chaos suffering high rates of depression suicide crime substance substance slakia, abuse pregnancy and other serious problems until about a century ago however teenage years were relevantly began and adolescence as we know it barely existed through most of human existence <laughs> Existence, I guess we could say, or history, as it says there. Young people were uh, integrated into adult society early on, but be beginning in the late 1800s, new laws, so-called laws, all right, because like, uh, what's the scripture say? Uh, woe unto him that decrees unrighteous decrees, all right, meaning laws, all right? What does woe mean? Woe means death and destruction. So the Lord hates and he's going to bring pure destruction upon anybody, okay, who's out here uh, bringing out w wicked um, laws, man, all right? Because first of all, man cannot d decree what is right and wrong. That's pure blasphemy, all right? Now, you know, of course, the Lord sets up rulers, all right, such as King David, man, but he was a righteous man, all right? The Lord is dealing with him himself, all right? So rulers like that, Hey, they're, they're ruling in righteousness, man. Off what the scriptures say. Not off of what, you know, they feel is right and wrong. Alright, because that's part of the problem. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'll start right down to the 1800s. Imposing on them an um, increasingly large set of restrictions and artificially extending childhood well past puberty. New research suggests that teens today are subjected to more than 10 times as many restrictions as most adults, and adulthood is delayed until well into the 20s or 30s. It's likely that the turmoil that we see among teens is um, basically caused and a result of the um, artificial uh, extension of childhood, which it is, and he goes on to explain that um, well, when you read this book, man, uh, and I just want to get the first chapter, and I'm going to read the rest of uh, the stuff here. Um, but, you know, the point is that, like I said, man, the devil, he knows what he's doing, man. The white man, he knows what he's doing, all right, because he's the wicked. All right, remember, the Lord said that they were wiser than Daniel, man. All right. And remember, as I said earlier, in order to basically 
tell a lie, you have to know the truth, okay? And they know the truth. Did I not show you the TV shows and what they tell you, man? Remember, they tell you the, the truth in movies and lies in the news, man. All right? And then, hey, that's, that's um, you know, for those who can see it, man. All right? Because most people can't see that stuff. For example, let me give a few examples. They showed you 9-11 many years and months before it happened in these TV shows and even on magazines and stuff. Man. It's always been there. Okay? And guess what? Then it happened. Why? Because they're showing you that it happened before, before you know, it actually happens. All right? They're showing you what's, what they're going to do. All right? Because they're the devil. All right? Uh, let's see. I want to start. You see where it basically starts going over right here where the dots are and whatnot? I want to start right there. All right? It says suicide is the third leading cause amongst teens after... Um, homicides and accidents medicating our teens in recent years has reduced the suicide rate but is still nearing three times what it was in the 1950s all right when we medicate less the suicide rate increases again why is that because these drugs that they give you these are there to basically you know which first of all the scriptures say they um uh, so what was I going to say? They mercilessly oppress the poor, right? So people have to be on all kinds of medications and drugs to deal with their, their um, afflictions in life, man. All right? Which, trust me, I've been at one of these places before, man. Okay? All they're trying to do is get you on medication. Okay? They'll tell you they don't care about you. And understand, they don't care about you. All right? Any, first of all, anybody who goes against the establishment and teaches anything contrary to what society teaches is a threat, okay? If you don't believe me, you can look that up, all right? They don't care about you. The only thing they can do for you is put you on medications, okay? Because they are the devil, okay? And like I said, they are set up to, to hurt and destroy, okay? They don't care about individuals, all right? Every problem in the, that the world is going through is caused by the people in rulership, all right? And who you people call Jesus Christ, he's come and put these people in slavery. All right? You're going to be beaten and tortured every single day for 1,000 years for what you have done to the world. All right? And it's not funny. All right? It's not funny. It's, it's, it's going to be a terrible judgment for you to pay. But it is a righteous judgment because of what you have done. All right? Do you have any idea what you've done to the Lord's creation? Man? Like, look, go outside and tell me if you can see chemtrails in the air all right i can see them i'm just sitting here in my room man all right i look out the window you see nothing but chemtrails in the sky man and why is that who put that there the lord didn't put that there the devil the so-called government put that there man all right and just to get a scripture real quick i just remember i already brought out that scripture it says they're going into slavery uh, i want to bring out a scripture in jeremiah which i always quote this scripture one of my favorite scriptures man because the lord hates america He's against this place, and he hates it with all his heart. All right? All right, and you never hear that in the so-called church, because the Lord's not with them. All right? This is uh, Jeremiah uh, 51 and 25. Behold, I am against the old destroying mountain. Now remember, the mountain in the scriptures is talking about the government. So the Lord is against the government in America specifically. All right? Which really all the kingdoms of the world. But anyway, we'll read on. Say of the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks. It will make thee a burnt mountain. And how's that going to happen? In the way of nuclear war, nuclear fire. All right? America must be destroyed for its wickedness. All right? there, as the scriptures say, America or Babylon cannot be healed. All right? The Lord will send fanners. All right? Because remember, the, the um. The merchants are going to be standing across the, you know, the seas and whatnot, and they're going to see the smoke of this place going into the sky, man. I, I mentioned before, I had a dream that America became the lake of fire, man. All right, and I looked on the TV set, and it, it was streamed live all over the world, man. All right, that's why it said that they would, you know, basically stand afar off and and cry when they saw the smoke of her burning. All right. So they're going to be across the whole world, but they're going to see it under television sets. Remember 9-11? The whole world scene, and everyone was uh, astonished. 
But guess what? What's going to happen when 200 million nuclear missiles rain down and destroy America completely? Meanwhile, um, over in the Middle East, you got a giant mothership the size of America fighting all the armies of the world. That's why it says it's a day of darkness, man. Right? And it tells you, you know, like I said, you can read about the Battle of Armageddon. One of my favorite scriptures on that is um, 2 Ezra's, the 13th chapter, man. All right? It clearly tells you what's going to happen there, man. All right? They're going to go to fight Yahweh Shai, right? And it tells you the Lord's going to shoot a giant, you know, uh, which it says out of his mouth. But that's talking about the um, a laser out of the UFOs, which are the chariots of the Lord. And they show you that in the movie Independence Day. All right, Remember the, that giant UFO was flying over New York City, right? And all those people were on top of the building astonished at that great uh, sight of that, that chariot. And you see the blue light and whatnot, and then it started opening up, right? And it started getting brighter. And then when it was fully open, it shot down fire. And destroy the whole city. It tells you that what happened in Second Ezra is the thirteenth chapter, man. All right, that's how these armies are going to meet their doom. All right, by the way of nuclear fire. All right, and also, of course, the fire from the chariots, which is really what that army is going to be destroyed with. But not to get too far um, off topic, man. All right, and why why are they this way, man? Because they're not kids, man. Why why are so-called teens like that? Because they're young adults, man. All right, and they're being oppressed, all right? which, you know, let me say this. Many of them, all right, not all of them, because a lot of them are, you know, um, a childish and whatnot. But a lot of them are not men. All right. They're just as mature as they will be when they're 25 years old. All right. So oppressing people because of how old they are, that really hurts people, man. That really causes problems mentally, man. All right. Telling somebody they got to wait till you're 18, 20 years old to have sex. Meanwhile, you've been waiting seven years. That's that's a mental torture, man. All right. And first of all, the Lord said, remember, the Lord said that he is not an offer of confusion. Why the Lord give um, if, if they're kids, right? If you're a child till you're 18 years old, which first of all, 18 is 666. You take six plus six equals 12 plus six equals 18. So there you go. That's why they picked the number 18, because 18 is 666. Remember, it tells you in Revelation uh, 13, 16. Um, matter of fact, let me get that real quick, just so I can bring that out completely. Um, let's see, lock it there. Okay. Says, here's wisdom, let he that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six, six six six. All right, so remember, man, there's many, <laughs> there's many things that equal the number six six six, especially over here in America, man. Which the word America means bitter, okay? America is bitter, okay? Uh, this is a bitter place, okay? And it has destroyed the whole world, all right? And that's why this place will be um, destroyed for what it has done, all right? And the only people who are going to escape this destruction are those who are doing the work of the Lord, all right? And for the woman, all right, because a woman can't do the work, the only way for a woman to escape is for her to humble herself, all right? And if she doesn't got a husband, a man of the Lord, all right? Well, she can just get online and learn how she should be, all right? And then, Lord willing, then if the Lord decides to have mercy, then he'll save her. It's that, it's that simple for a woman, all right? But most of them would not do that, all right? But getting back on topic, man, you know, as I was saying, you know, they, they magically just believe that uh, you go to bed one day, then magically a millisecond past midnight on the day you turn 18. Oh, now you're mature enough, but yesterday you, you were not. Like, how the hell does that even make any sense? Oh, it doesn't, but, but yet when you actually bring this up, oh, it's just legal, it's just law. But yet you can't give me actually any evidence to support your claims. That, that's just total foolishness, all right? Total foolishness, man. And that's actually hypocrisy as well, because, you know, it's funny, because you people want to talk about, you know, you have to have evidence to support your claims, but yet you go off uh, emotions and feelings, Rather than, you know, what is just an absolute fact. All right. And that's one more reason why America will be moved off the face of the earth. And, and this nation will always be here as a uh, remembrance of the past. Uh, and it tells you that in uh, Isaiah, the 13th chapter, that America will be a uh, memorial of, that, of what we went through. Because right? remember, we were taken here on slave ships uh, and put into slavery. And the scripture said that would happen. And guess what? It did happen. 
Because remember, the word of Yahweh is not that. So getting back to what I was saying, you know, because, you know, as I was saying, the Lord's will was basically for, for women to have children in their youth, man. And that's not talking about when you're 25 or 30 years old. That's um, basically what people have been taught here in this society, here in Babylon. But you have to let go of the ways of the world, okay? You got to renew your mind with the understanding of the scriptures. And that's what we've been doing for years, man. All right? So, you know, things, topics like this, uh, a lot of guys get emotional at, man, because they cannot let go of the way of America, okay? Like rock upon him, he'll, he'll sit there and agree if you want something. But yet, when I bring this out, then oh, all, all of a sudden I'm going off. But yet he can't give me any scriptural evidence nor any common sense to disprove me. He's just going off at how he feels. And like I said, man, in this truth, you're going to have a lot of uh, infirmities and people who come up against you. That's just part of bearing your cross, okay? Because remember, man, we're going through total, you know, misery here, man. America is, uh, I, as I said, uh, the word America is bitter, okay? But going back to the topic, you know, why why do they act the way they do? Because how you treat them. If you treated them more like uh, a man or a woman when they were 12 or 13, they would be better, all right? They would, you know... Of course, they would have uh, responsibility, all right? And you know, it's sad because a lot of them will take their responsibility. But no matter what they do, you just won't accept them because of a silly number. And that, that upsets people, man, all right? That, that messes with people's minds. But, you know, like I said, these so-called um, uh, therapists or whatnot, they're not there to tell you this because they don't know. They don't know. They, they go by what they've been taught in the books, all right? By the devil, may I also add. All right, so they have no understanding. All, right? all they're there to do is put you on medications. All right? And like I said, I've been, one, I've been in one of these places before, so I can personally tell you that they don't care about you, man. All, right? all they're there to do is put you on medication. Okay. As I said earlier, as the scriptures say, they have mercilessly oppressed the poor. Okay? They have no mercy on anybody. All right? If you do anything that goes against what they write down on a piece of paper, then you're going to be locked away in the, in the cage. They had no mercy on the poor. Right? And guess what? In the kingdom, there will be no mercy on you, Esau. There will be no mercy on you and your family in the kingdom. Wait to, as the scriptures say, is a fearful thing. And it is a terrible thing to fall in the hands of the living God. All right? They don't call the Lord a God of terrors for nothing. All right, who you people call Christ, he's the God of, of death, man. He makes, he kills and makes alive. Let's go show that real quick. All right, because a lot of guys are mistaken. Oh, oh well, the Lord's only all love. And that's not true. Let's see what the Bible has to say. All right, so what is this talking about? Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So what is that talking about then? All right, because the Lord is a God of love and hate. Okay, not just love, not just one emotion. Anybody who believes that, and you're a clear moron, man. I mean, how stupid can you be? All right. Total foolishness, all right. Ah. Uh, now, let's read the second one right here, okay? It says, we're now spending more money on psychoactive prescription drugs for teens than on other prescription drugs combined, including acne medication and antibiotics. And why is that, man? Because of the oppression, man. They act the way they do because they're not supposed to be treated that way, man. They're, they're supposed to be brought up, uh, taught how to be a man, and for a woman, how to be a woman. All right. They're not supposed to be put in a classroom taught how to be, you know, how to be a slave, basically how to go work in a factory somewhere. All right. Remember, man, when you were born, your parents signed you away to, to the state, man. All right. Because you're nothing but a wage slave is what you are. Okay. The state owns you. Okay. You are nothing but a slave. Okay. Anybody who tries to tell you you're free, that person will have their part in the lake of fire. 100% guarantee you that. Okay. 100% guarantee you that. Um, let's see, what was it say? But it says, I'm going to read that actually one more time. All right, it says, we're now spending more money on psychoactive, psychoactive 
Why is that? Because of the oppression, man. And like I said, they don't understand. They, they just make that look like it's some kind of, you know, uh, a brain problem, which um, Dr. Robert Epstein, he completely debunks that with this book, which I'm not going to get that for the sake of the time of this video. But I, like I said, I recommend you read this whole book. I've read the whole book in three hours. All right. Very good book. In fact, one of the best books I've ever read. All right. Of course, besides the scriptures, which is, you know, the true uh, book that we should be reading. All right. Flat. Turn it off real quick. There we go. Ah. And like I said, the reason why that's happening is because they're not supposed to be, you know, um, like that, man. All right. Ah, uh, see. It says in um, third one, in two thousand seven, thirty eight point nine percent of our teens received treatment for a major depressive episode. All right. Now, as I said before, man. All right. This is the land of confusion and the shadow of death. All right. And the Lord's gonna stretch out His hand upon this place, man. All right. He's coming with, oh, oh man, that, that's why it says that that day is a day of darkness, man. All right, because you have no idea what the Lord's coming to do for what has done, what has been done to his people, man. All right, which Lord's people are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, also us confusion of face, Akim. All right, us confusion of face, brothers, we're also Israelites too. But we look like the other nations, but by our spirit, we go back to the 12 tribes. Okay, remember we were taken here on ships. Okay, hundreds of years ago, brought over here to America to serve hardcore slavery with chains around our necks. Right now, you're still a slave today. You just don't have um, um, a chain around your neck. But you know they give you the delusion that you're free, but you're really not. All right. For example, don't pay your bills and see what happens to you. All right. They'll come lock your ass away in a cage, man. All right. You ain't free, man. All right, you got to pay on everything, man. All right, it, you know it goes deeper than that, man. You know, but it, 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 you should piss you off to even mention something like that, man. It truly should. All right, you got goddamn idiots around here. Excuse my language, but you got idiots around here that act like you know, like on Fourth of July. Oh, 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 God bless America, right? That's pure blasphemy, blasphemy. Okay. Like I, you know, for example, somebody's saying the Vatican's Babylon. I never heard the song play, oh, Vatican City, God bless the Vatican City. No, man. God bless America. Everybody knows that song, but it's pure blasphemy to the Most High because the, the Lord sent his people to serve slavery here. I believe uh, America's mentioned in the Apocrypha too. I believe it's called Os Arsareth, right? Arsareth? Slaki. Um, I've only... Um, came across that a few times but if you look in the apocrypha it's called arsaref or something like that i highly recommend you look into that all right because yes it, it is in the apocrypha too let me just see where i want to Let's go down to, it says, we're now seeking a substantial increase, or sl substantial increase in crimes committed by young females, especially violent crimes. Teen females also now um, equal or extend teen males and alcohol consumption. For a second. Drug abuse and smoking. All right. Now... You can do all that when you're 12 years old. Now, let me say this. Um, really, we're not supposed to be smoking um, really anything. Nobody's supposed to be smoking. That's a bad thing for your body. But you can drink alcohol, man. All right? Remember, remember our Lord? He was a very, um, he was deep into drinking alcohol and stuff, man. All right? He was in the, the wine press most of the time, man. All right? Because he is a man full of sorrows, man. 
And they're not going to tell you that in a church, man. They're not going to tell you that because they'll, they'll have you think, oh, 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 the Lord was all happy all the time. No, man, the Lord was cursing people out too, man. Right? If, what would the Lord do if he saw a homosexual back then? He cursed them out, man. All right? Uh, it says the birth weight rate among teens in the United States has been declining. But first of all, remember, uh, which actually I'll turn the page says is now increasing again and is by far the highest and uh and the struck and the strides world all right but the the point is that a woman's supposed to be having children in her youth or so-called teenagers that's why she has a period man. that's why she wants to have sex why would the lord why else would the lord do that man? are you just are you americans that's just a little bit too deep for you because first of all the bible is not for america the, the scriptures are only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and also us confusion of faith brothers. It's only for the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not for any other nation. All right? It's not for you heathens. It's not for you, you devils out there. Okay? It's not for any of you. The Lord hates you. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, oh, Jesus loves you. No, the Lord hates you. All right? You put the Lord's people in slavery. So you're going to you're gonna go into slavery. That's why it says in uh, Revelation 13, 10, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right? Didn't you kill us with the sword in our past lives? And you did that to our people. All right? And, and that happens every day. It happens every day, man. All right? Uh, an Edomite cop can shoot up and, and shoot down a Negro, right, for no reason. And, and he'll get away scot-free, man. So we're being... Pre um, persecuted even to this day man all right ah uh, let's see it says one in 14 teen females in the u.s now has a sexually transmitted disease all right now let me say this because a woman's only supposed to have one man all right because, you know, like I said, this society is so out of order. You get women when they're 40 years old, 30 years old, they've already been with, uh, like, what, 60, 40 different guys, man. If not even more than that, all right? And that's total just, you know, wickedness, man. All right? A woman's supposed to have one husband, all right? And she really would not get to choose who she marries, man, all right? And this also proves that we're in the last days because the Lord said this was a, a sinful and adulterous generation, all right? Because... Really, first of all, you have to understand that according to the Bible, sex is marriage. All right, so the first uh, man a woman has sex with, that would be her husband. If she goes with any other man, then she's committed adultery. And she should be put to death according to the Bible. Now, of course, you can't go do that because we're in America. But according to the Bible, that's what should happen. All right? Now, yes, the Lord can have mercy, all right? especially right now, because you can't get a woman as your wife unless you get her when she's a virgin meaning when she's probably like 12 13 years old all right that's the only way for a man to take a woman all right when she's very young all right because a woman has to be a virgin in order for a man to basically take her as a wife okay because that's that's what a marriage actually is it's not no going to to the devil the government getting a so-called marriage license and going and stand for the pork shop eating pastor i know i declare you a, a man and wife that is pure blasphemy all right. Anyone that way, the Lord's the Lord has nothing to do with your marriage. All right. So called get married that way because you really are not. Um, damn, we've been going on for twenty something, an hour and twenty something minutes. But hey, it's all for the spirit of Yahweh Baha Shimi All right, spirit of the truth as well. I think that's really what I wanted to get and not there all right but the, the point matter of fact I'm gonna go back because I think I've got what I wanted to um you know get across in this video man all right 
Now, like I said, I'll leave a link if I, if possible, I'll leave a link to all those videos I mentioned and, and showed you in this video. Um, but you know, hey, go ahead and check out this book, man. Uh, it's a very good book. I highly recommend you read it. And like I said, you can find it on the App Store. Just go to the, um, go to the App Store, go to the book section, and just look up a uh, case against adolescence or teen 2.0. It's only $10, and if you don't have the money, you can just read half the book for free. All right? Highly recommend you read this. And also, hey, remember, don't be offended at the word of Yahweh Hashem All right? Remember, for going over stuff like this, you're going to be called, you know, a pedophile. Um, uh, we even get called rapists sometimes for saying certain things from the Bible. We could call, you know, um, all kinds of manners of wickedness for the Lord's name. All right? But hey, that, hey bless Yahweh Hashem All right? Because anybody who's hurt us in our life, when the Lord comes back, there will be total vengeance, man. All right? But, you know, not to push this on any much longer. You know, I, I think I made the point clear because we've been talking for like almost an hour and 30 minutes. Um, but, you know, yeah, man, make sure you look into this book. And I hope this lesson was edifying. And if anyone actually made it to the end of this video, um, how about you put down in the comment section, hashtag, uh, how about Team 2.0? All right, since we got it right here. Go put, go, go put in the comment section, uh, Team 2.0, hashtag Team 2.0, just so I can see if anybody actually makes it to this part of this lesson, all right? Just for a little bit of fun. But anyway, um, I want to say all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Baha, Shim, Yahushai, for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of this truth. Uh, Brock upon Yahawa, Brock upon Yahawa Shai, Brock upon Yahawa, Brock upon Yahabashim Yahashai for this truth. With that being said, I'll see you brothers around next time. And if possible, remember to like and subscribe. And also, you know, if you have any questions or any more information, you can go ahead and share in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you brothers around.